Are you the theatre nurse? No, I'm Mohammed's personal nurse. Really? That's a new one. Well, his father had me assigned to him. So you're in the operation, then? Well, you'll need me to interpret, and also Mr. Ahmed Al-Hashmi insists. I get the feeling that whatever Mr. Ahmed Al-Hashmi insists on, he, uh, he gets. And you're... Jack Naylor, General Surgeon, Joseph Byrne, CT Surgeon. Lord Byrne. Hmm? I just imagined that you'd be older. No, no, he's my, uh, he's my father. Right. He can't make it. So you're doing the procedure? That's right. Suction. Suction. Okay. Can you see the tumour? Yeah. It's stuck right up on the left upper quadrant on the hemidiaphragm. I think you should take a look. Something wrong? No, it's fine. Mr. Byrne, could we? Yes. Yes, I see. You seen this? Can I help? No. Thank you. We're just working out how best to proceed. So what should I tell the family? Mr. Al Hashmi wants to be kept informed. You can say that we've discovered further complications, but it's all under control. How come your burn isn't here? He's got a virus. So you came instead? Uh, no, uh, we didn't know about the virus until we got here. So you came We to... came as part of the team. I've got a bleed. Okay, we may have a tear in the diaphragm. The lesson tree's falling apart. Can you have to control the bleeding suture, please? Heat. Sorry, the, the other one. Relax. Dr. B. Enzil, 90 on the 70. If he's falling, 90 over 70. Right, OK, we'll need another six units cross-matched. This is not good. Something wrong. OK, we have to control the bleeding. Could we get packs in the area, please? Then what? Yeah. Joseph, is there a problem? Yes, the problem is the... The problem? The problem is the tumour is bigger than we were led to believe. The scans we were shown back in England were old ones. Check the date. So what happens? I don't know. What? Joseph, we need to make a decision. What would your father do? OK. We get him into ICU, continue to transfuse him. We correct the hypothermia and the coagulopathy, which will give us time to reassess. OK, so that's what we better do. Yes, we'll complete the procedure tomorrow. To do it today would put an unnecessary strain on his heart. It's not to say anything unless he addresses you directly. Mr. Burns, is that the truth? Yes, it's the truth. Good. I met your father once when I was in England. Really? I always thought if I need a new heart, then he's the man for me. But now I have a backup plan. His son. He must be very proud of you. Well, yeah, have you any brothers? Yes. Alhamdulillah, I knew it. I knew a great man like your father would have lots of sons. And you, have you any sons? No, not yet. You will have, I can tell. As you know, Muhammad's my only boy. I have lots of daughters. Allah saw fit to give me everything, alhamdulillah. But he made me have one precious thing in my life. My son, alhamdulillah. Tomorrow, you will make my son well. I know this. I know this, inshallah. We should have just walked away. Easier said than done. This is madness. Is Muhammad going to live? No. Yes. Everything's under control. Who is the boy's doctor? We need to talk to him. Well, it was. A Dr. Al-Kindi. What do you mean, was? When Muhammad's condition got worse, Ahmed blamed Al-Kindi's incompetence. He has cancer. Oh, you know that, and I know that. But that wasn't good enough for Ahmed, so he dealt with him. How? Oh. I don't know. I mean, he certainly doesn't practice in Dubai anymore. He seems to have disappeared. You can do this, can't you? Yes, of course. Okay, if Al-Kindi went, then who's been keeping an eye on Mohammed? Me. 
Well, this is ridiculous. There must be someone else. <laughs> Not that Ahmed will allow near his son. He, he blames Arab doctors for the fact that his wife gave birth to four sons and only one lived. Mohammed. We need to speak to a consultant that is familiar. Just drop it, Joseph. It's not that easy, is it? Can you uh, tell me what's going on here? Nothing. Nothing. Everything's fine. We should get some sightseeing in while we can. What? Why not? This isn't exactly the time for playing tourists. Well, I don't see why not. We're here, aren't we? Anyway, you can suggest? Sorry. Sightseeing. Yes, there's a couple of places. If it was just the tumour, then we might have been in with a chance, but now it's attached itself to the lower lobe of the lung. My father would be hard-pressed to pull this off. If he's stable, then his only chance of a long-term survival is an on block resection. Yes, you're not getting this, are you? We're registrars. This procedure is like Mount Everest, even for the most experienced consultant, never mind us. And if we don't do it? Look, I heard of a case where they didn't do an on-block resection and the cancer was back within three months. The patient was dead within four. Then we get someone else in. They can fly someone in from England, from the States. It's not like they're short of cash. No, but there isn't a time, Joseph. You won't last that long. If we don't operate tomorrow, then it's au revoir, Mohammed. Hi. Um, we're gonna head back to the hotel and chill out a bit. OK. So perhaps you'd like to join us for dinner? Um, I'll check with my husband and get back to him. A uh, Holby City Hospital is where you work, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Mm. I'm reporting you. I knew there was something wrong in theatre. I should have said something then. We registrars, both of you, not consultants. Have you even done this operation before? I've assisted. I've never been the lead surgeon. And you? I've done the operation once. I don't believe this. How did you find out? I made a few calls. It wasn't very hard. We should just disappear. Fine. Let's just roll over and let the kid die. Then Al Hashmi can dish out whatever punishment his millions can afford. And if we survive that, we can get a job cleaning the loose. Because that will be the only career left open to us. This is incredible. Haven't you figured it out? We're his only hope. There is nothing else after us. If you want to report this, go ahead. But you'll be signing his death warrant. You have a choice. You can give Mohammed some chance. Or no chance. That's no choice. So we do the operation. Good. And you don't tell anybody. Somebody's bound to find out. I did easily enough. What about your father? Isn't he going to want to know what's going he on? He can't know. If Ackerman finds out I have no career, if my father finds out, I will lose everything. We should never have Joseph, done Joseph, change the bloody record. What we should do is ring your father before he rings the hospital. If he finds out... I can't do on, it. Fine. I'll do it. No! He will know that there's something wrong if you ring him. This has nothing to do with me. You can say you're a representative from the hospital, that Mohammed's your patient. And like I say, if we don't do the op, who will? I just spoke to your mother. She seemed to believe me. You've obviously had practice at lying. James. James, this is my husband. Uh, James, this is Joseph and Jack. Nice to meet you. Well, you have to excuse me. I've got to go to the boys' room. Try to forgive his murder. I'm going to have a quick dip. Cool down. You coming in? No. No. He wants to see you. What for? He didn't say. Is that good or bad? I don't know. See what the man wants. Not you. Just Joseph. Anything you need? Or you're not sure of? Just ask. Hi, right. good morning, everybody. Um, we've decided that our young patient is stable enough for us to continue. So if anybody would like to report that back to Mr. Al Hashmi before we begin, you know where to find him. Well, let's make a start, shall we? Uh, Miss Naylor, 
Would you please inform me as to what you intend to do? What? Please. I'm going to make a thoraco-abdominal incision. Very good. I was sent by Mr. Al-Hashmi to collect the tumour. I'm sorry? It's common out here for the family to want to see the bits that are removed. Very good. Small bowel mesentery and uh, free it from the abdominal cavity. There's some attached to the lower lobe of the lung. Yes, that's right. I need to staple across the lung in order to get a clear resection margin. We'll be removing the tumour on block. And Ms. Naylor will be taking it from the gut. I'll take it from the lung. That would make sense. Thank you. We'll need a, a kidney dish, please. Um, I'll, I'll take it in the jar. He really should go to histology. Well, not here. If they ask to see the tumour, they normally just send the margins of the resection to histology. When in Rome? Natalie, is there something going on that I should know about? Please, Natalie. I'm not stupid. Mm. James asked me not to tell you. Asked you not to tell me what? He wants me to come in on your project. Mm. The care home. Why? He said you have a problem raising the money. We have the money. We've bought the property. Well, not according to James. He wanted me to go back with him next week and look it over. Sorry, Faye, but I'm not interested. Okay. He's arrested. Okay, I'm gonna massage the heart. Stand clear, please. Still nothing. It's not working. Shows if we're losing him. OK, paddles, please. And we'll charge to 20. Ready. And clear. And charge to 20 again, please. And clear. Blood gas results show his potassium levels are very low. Charge to 20, please, please. Clear. OK, we need 200 milligrams of amiodarone. Uh, 10 millimoles of potassium, please. Quickly. All right, charge 20. Ready. Clear. Sinus rhythm back. OK. OK, everything's fine. OK, let's uh, ventilate the lung, please. The lung's not inflating. Okay, what's happening? I don't know. I must have stapled the main bronchus. You're miles away from it. Absolutely. The lung is not inflating. When you did this operation before, what did this happen? No. What would have we done different? I don't know. Come on, Jack, think. This is new ground for me. I'm pitching in the dark here. So am I. What? I've never done the operation before. I said? know what I said, but I lied. This is it. This is it. Look, are you sure that everyone has understood what you're doing? Well, I thought it was pretty obvious. The clamp. Has Inis first taken off the left side of the clamp? Shall I tell Mashbeck? Oh, I'm sorry. I want to congratulate and thank you. He's not out of the woods yet. We need to keep a close eye on him. Yeah, I know he'll make a full recovery. I'll be ringing your father, telling him how well you did. Ringing him? He must be very proud of his son. I'd rather you didn't do that. Why not? Your son is alive due to a lot of luck. I think it's the will of Allah. Our problem is, if this goes back to the GMC in England, it won't look good. Um, it could go on our records and, well, who knows what they might do. You see, it's our responsibility to be honest. And we won't. We'll get in trouble for saving a life. For breaking the rules. Then anything you want while you're here in Dubai, just ask. It's yours. Thank you. What about your payment? Oh, really, I don't I think... I can't remember what was agreed. 10,000 sterling. Very generous. Except, of course, we did two operations in the end. So I think we need to renegotiate. You saved my son. 20,000 sterling. I think that's very fair. Are you mad? A deal's a deal. He won't bat an eyelid. He'd have paid you anything. Shall I go back in? I'm talking about the fact that you'd never done that procedure before. It didn't seem to matter in the end. That's not the point. You lied to me. And if I hadn't, what would have happened? How would your career have gone with a hand missing? So I just wish you'd have told me, that's all. No, you don't. If I'd have told you, you couldn't have hacked it. Which is why we make a perfect couple. You need me. You know, I think Ahmed was right. It was the will of Allah. I tell you, that had nothing to do with Allah.
Could you turn around, please? We need to pick someone up. Sorry, turn around. Go back. Yes. What's happening? It's fair. 